Good morning teachers, this is Marie Henderson. In this video we're going to look at how to create a Wakelet collection and then how to share it. And we'll just do a few of the little details on the creation side as well. And so I'm logged in here to my Wakelet account and I'm going to click to create a new collection. And your first task is to give it a title. So maybe you're doing a lesson with students on cells. So introduction to cells and give your students a little note about what you'll be doing. And so then you can also click up here to add a cover image and you can either upload one or choose one from their library. Wakelet uses Unsplash. So if I just type, for instance, cell and you get all sorts of cool stuff and I'm just going to pick this first one and it pops it right in there and you can decide whether or not for it to be a full or a half. And so that makes it a little bit smaller up there. And of course, if you click to edit it, it lets you resize and things. You can also over here in the top left corner, if you click the settings button, you can add a background image. And again, you can upload or choose from the library. I sometimes just pick a just pick a color for the background and then it gives me some nice different spaces that I can use that maybe complement the picture that I've chosen. And so I'll just pick one here and then you'll see how that just floats in as a background image. And then you can get started adding content. And of course I went over this in a different video, but you can paste in websites here. You can add text. This is a great way to add a discussion question for your students if you're wanting them all to reply. Or you can add in some clarifying points about resources or other lesson material that you're adding. Give them additional directions as needed. And then of course you can add images, you can upload PDFs. The app launcher here at the right gives you other options for adding in other content. So once you've got the content how you want and you're ready to send it out to students, if you select up here at the top right the privacy settings, then you can switch from private to either unlisted or public. And if you're using it with students, I'd probably recommend just unlisted. And then that way um, only your students have access to it and it's not actually actually searchable within the Wakelet community. And so you switch it to unlisted and then up here at the top left, you can click to invite and you'll share with students either this URL or just the code, which will give them the opportunity to contribute to the Wakelet. If your students are over 13, of course, they can create their own Wakelet account and or use their single sign-ons with Microsoft or Google to access your Wakelet and contribute as signed in users. However, your younger students, your U13 students can simply go to wakelet.com and type in the code or just tap on the link that you provide them here and access the Wakelet that way and they'll give their name and be able to add content. Of course, you can also use the QR code to direct students to your Wakelet. As always, if you have questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks and have a great day.